So if you want to log into your Bluehost account, once you've bought your account from Bluehost, you'll just go into my.bluehost.com and that will bring you will bring you here where you can log in. And if you haven't gotten your Bluehost account yet, you can use my affiliate link down there. I will appreciate your support. So go ahead and log in so that you can go into the Bluehost web hosting management area. So sometimes when you get here, you usually get this warning and I don't know why they, they're not just redirecting people. They should just redirect people automatically instead of showing people this message. So anyway, let me just click and see what's different. So as I said, my Bluehost account is expiring on April. So I just want to do this tutorial before it expires because I want to be renewing the account. So just an overview here. Here we have the website details. If you want to install WordPress, you can just click here and you'll be able to install WordPress using a step by step process that you'll see on screen. And if you want to install, if you want to see all the installations you've done, you can click here. And if you look at one click installs, you're going to find a bunch of scripts that you can install, such as WordPress, Joomla, Magento, and a bunch of others. So all those, you can just click here and you'll be able to choose a domain. Uh, I will also show you how you can add a domain to Bluehost. Let's say you have a bunch of domains, maybe being hosted somewhere on Namecheap or GoDaddy, then you can just use them with the same hosting that you have on Bluehost if your account allows for it. There are certain accounts that only allows you to have one website. There are those that allows you, I think it has a maximum of 10 and there's another one for, for unlimited domains. So whichever account you choose, you could be able to connect a new domain and then install as many websites as you want to on the same Bluehost account. And I'm going to show you how to connect your domain with your Bluehost account. And then down here we have things about email. So you can create emails, you can, uh, you can create emails, you can create folders. If you want an email that maybe gets into your account, you want to forward it to a Gmail account, you can use these folders. You can also create emails right here. So we're going to see all of this at some point later on. And then domains, yeah, so this is where you can add a domain. If you want to create subdomains, you can create subdomains here. You can transfer domain. And then you can also create redirects. Redirects, let's say maybe you've connected a domain to this Bluehost account and you want to redirect it to your main website. You can create a redirect or you have a subdomain that you used to use and you no longer use it. You can create a redirect about it so that it goes to the right place that you want. So we are going to look at some of this later on. And then files, this is where you can upload files. If you want to use the file manager, you can just click here and you can choose where you want to go and you'll be able to upload, download, uh, extract any files that you need to download, extract or import into your Bluehost account. And then here you can look at stats, how your bandwidth is performing. You can see how your different websites that you are using on the same account, how they're performing the bandwidth, the memory usage and all and all other kinds of stats. You can do that here in this section about stats and then this are just promotional things from Bluehost. Uh, if maybe you want a dedicated IP and if you want to use SSL on Bluehost, you'll need a dedicated IP. So that's something you can get here. If you want to use Gmail's uh, G Suite for your emails, then that one you can also get here. And then security, you can add SSL, site lock. These are paid features. Some of them, you can add them if you want to. And then database tools. If you want to create a database, you want to manage your databases using PHP My Admin, you'll just come down here to database tools. You can configure your PHP so that which version of, to know which version of PHP you want to use. And then you also have all these other things. This ones you're probably not going to need to use all of this. So what you're going to look at, we're going to see how you can install a website. These are the most basic features, how to install a website, how you can connect a domain to Bluehost. And then we're going to see how you can transfer files, file management, how to create emails, just the basic things, the most important things that any web, any website needs. 
needs those are the things we're going to look at so i will see you in the next video and in the next video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can connect any domain to your bluehost account and then after that we're going to install wordpress so i will see you in that next video